it's like almost eyeball colored. Yeah. Like his eyeballs are popping out. Scientist man. Gonna have the aged voice. <sighs> okay, high arcane. Let's go. This always takes so long to load. It's kind yeah. of astounding. All signed and sealed. No. Nah. And then you go through a weird, horrific image and wake up. I'm going to go ahead and pick the uh, Sock Weaver for this character because I have used the other weapons quite a bit at this point and Sock Weaver is just the best for getting viscerals. It's got a nice quick charged R2. It's also just really fucking fast compared to the other weapons. I still really like the Hunter Axe, partly because it has a triangular gem slot, but... Sock Leaver's the king. Guess I'll take the Hunter Pistol instead of Blunderbuss. Listen to the sultry sound of my creaking chair. Okay, I got him my little clip shit. So the way this works is a lot of things, a lot of just sort of basic stuff, scales of arcane, such as fire bombs. Or Molotov cocktails, so those are pretty important for this character. They should do more damage with my arcane stat. Ow, I feel like I'm a little closer to the screen than usual in my current setting. Um, I'm used to being just a little further away than this, so it feels so weird. Like I had motion sickness or something. Yo. 
going. Oil urns become pretty important later. Quicksilver bullets, that's what I'm talking about. More shards. We're gonna avoid the werewolves for now. Lurking the other end of that place. I feel like this is just pebbles, but you never know when you might find a use for pebbles to lure out some enemy. This is the part where I have to get my bearings because I'm always really confused. Okay, so we're in this upper sewer area. We can run all the way over there. We could fight this guy, but I'm going to try to get around him. I think this is just like blood echoes. Oh! I managed to grab it. to fight that guy, but decided to. The reason I come here is for the Hunter set. Offers a bunch more defense, which becomes pretty useful when you're fighting Father Gascoigne. <sighs> okay. Just smack that guy to gain a few points of health. Let's see here. So there's a couple ways I can go out this part. I guess I'll just climb up here. This place should give me Titanite, or not Titanite, whatever, Bloodstone Shard. Same diff. And then I go over here and climb this one. Are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. So now we drop down there. I always forget what's over here. Just some more blood echoes. I'm fine with that. And then I always get turned around on this part. So let's see, those rats are down there, which means that's where I'm dropping. Cool. Oh dear. Ugh. That could have very easily ended in my demise. Did not expect him to drop down after me. So let's see, I should already have eight because I got an extra shard from a certain place. 
that one guy I killed dropped it. So that works. I haven't gotten the chance to do anything sciencey yet because, well, you don't really get access to spells or flame or anything at this point. You just get molotovs and oil urns, which I'm going to use to cheese Gascoin a little bit. Cocktails are very important for later. Wow. God damn. Well, I'm not going to heal through that because I just unlocked this place. Gotta go make my saw a plus two. Because it makes gas going a little bit easier. That's a pretty big damage difference. I think that'll do nicely. Oh shit! I don't even have my firearm out. That's awkward. Got me. Well, that was awkward. Hopefully, it'll be a net gain. And oh, come on! They have a chance to drop shining coins, which is garbage. I'm still not even sure what shining coins do in this game. So that was not a net gain. That was utterly a waste of time and bullets. Unfortunate. Come on. Really? I've never had the stupid torch guy beat me up like this so much. Hopefully this guy... Ah, uh, no, it was just two. Still not a net gain. That's really depressing. I only have 16 for gas going. Oh well. I'm sure we'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? It's just gas going. What's the worst he could do? Enough. 
Oh boy. No, no, no. Get him. Oh, fuck you. The sweet blood. The Molotov trajectory is so dumb in this game. No, 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 no. Okay, that could have killed me. Oh, God. He's just barely not at... He's... Oh, God, what am I doing? See, this is the phase where you're almost most likely to die. Okay. Blow up! That's how you cheese gas me. Very sloppily. You just throw a oil urn and a molotov at him when he's in beast mode. And they do an insane amount of damage. Because beasts are weak to fire. I guess I'll grab the, the weak gems. Got nothing to lose. The main weapon I'm going to be using doesn't require blood gems, so... That'll be nice. However, it does require a great deal of uh, Quicksilver bullets, which will get complicated early in the game. Behold, Cathedral Ward. That's pretty much all you need to know about that cutscene. Meh. These guys aren't dropping much. Not get grabbed by amygdala. Don't mind me. Okay, these guys have like twice as much health. Ah, oh, too early. Wait, what? Oh my god. Well, that was awkward. For some reason, I didn't get the visceral. And now I'm just sucking ass. Go on. I probably should have used blood bullets for that, to be honest. Oh well. Now, I kind of need as many... And as many bloodstone shards as I can afford. So I'm going to try to kill this scurrying beast before the big guy murders my face. Good. Uh, uh. I'm not going to try to kill this guy, but I... Uh. He's going to get me. <laughs> Damn it. That's the literally the first time I've ever died to this guy. I've gotten so close so many times, too. Which runes will you be using? Um, I guess the ones that increase blood bullets when I, whenever I find those, but I'll probably mostly just focus on generic whatever runes I can find. You're not talking about hunter tools, are you? You can do actual runes. Also, I hate that the game teleports you back to this place when you die the first time automatically. So then you just have to sit through an extra loading screen. And the worst part is, like, I've done runs where I, like, died on purpose so that I could get that out of the way, and it still happens when you die after a certain point in the game. Anyway, rocks are, um, I don't really know. I'll, I'll think about runes when that comes up, I guess, but 
I guess I'll use the ones that, like I said, I guess I'll use the ones that give me more bullets, or just whichever ones I can find that are decent. Like, I usually default to the ones that increase health and stamina. Because what more do you want? Even on an arcane build where I'm going to be using the flame sprayer, it's still nice to have stamina. Just finished with an arcane character the first time. Got tired of running out of QS bullets. I mean, I, I actually have done an arcane character already, which is part of why I'm willing to do it for this stream. I didn't finish the whole game on that character, but I, I don't know. I didn't have too many issues with running out of bullets, although I imagine some of the other hunter tools start to drain all of your bullets. Also, here's my blood echoes. Can't believe I died to this dude. He's so scary, but like I always seem to just narrowly avoid getting killed by him at the last second. Except for that time a few minutes ago when I was here and died. Okay, this blood gem is garbage, but I'm gonna pick it up anyway. No, oh, god damn it. Use the bold hunter's mark. So yeah, this isn't technically my first arcane character ever, but it is my first time starting it out in the last couple weeks. Oh yeah, what what is it with that door, uh, Rockzar? Do you know what the deal is with that door? I assumed it was just something I hadn't figured out yet. But mystery door. Does it have something to do with, like, online shenanigans or whatever? Okay, so we have... Oh, we only have 14. I need 16 of them things. So I'll go, go pick up some more. Meant to go to Cleric Beast. Ooh. So it's like an unfinished thing? That's kind of neat. Oh, good old doges. Unfortunately for you, do doge, I have items that do a lot of damage to beasts. It kind of doesn't seem like the dogs pursue you as frantically as the ones in some of these games. Okay. What I hate, though, is when they get all passive. Okay, really now. This door after Cleric Beast that I think could have connected. Huh, so no one really knows what those doors are about? That's interesting. There is a door that I'm pretty sure does have an opening. Which is... Oh, come on. Jeez Louise. I should probably kill that Rifleman for his bullets, actually. What's up? Gotta talk to this guy so he'll give me stuff. You're a backcross liner. Oh, take this. Beast hunting is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the door I was just talking about before the dogs interrupted me was... There's a door in Nightmare of Mensis, or Margo's Loft. The place where you farm for blood gems from the Winter Lanterns. The Brainiacs, as I call them. Um, there's this one door that's always locked for me. And I'm not really sure what that one's about. Okay, that's a useless blood gem. I picked it up several times before. It's not worth it. That is a doge. I kind of want to... Maybe that wasn't the best time I ever could have done. Okay. What's up, bro? Oh, come on. Being oddly passive. Pfft. I guess I won't crit you then, because you won't even attack me.
winter lanterns. You know, um, the big brain guys that get, make you frenzy. They're actually female from what I've read. Winter lanterns. I call them brainiacs because they are pretty uh, ridiculous. Hmm, I have 10,000 souls. Theoretically, I could actually skip this whole place right now. I, I wouldn't even have to kill the Blood Starved Beast if I just spent 10,000 Blood Echoes right now to buy a certain key. Although, I don't know if that key is available yet. I'm not actually sure, but... Let's see, this is Blood Vials, right? Yeah, good shit. Oh, right, the other... The other type, the other bloodstone would be from over. Oh God damn it! N nice throw, idiot. Okay, there we go. Well, since we dropped down here, I guess we might as well go pick up the hunter torch. That's also an arcane scaling weapon, but from what I've heard, it's not really worth using for damage. But yeah, I, I was talking about, you know that place where you find the one blood rock in the game, basically? Where you, you, you pull a switch and it lets the big brain fall down. And it has all the, the, the really good blood gems and stuff lying around. There's a locked door there that I, I've never figured out how to get through. Although I, should, I could probably just look it up. I don't know. Okay, let's actually go back to Hunter's Dream now, because I have some stuff to do. Also, I need to make sure I pick up as many uh, blood cocktails as I can. That door is at the Michael Ash fight. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if that is beans that much. Does that just mean that if I find a key for it, it'll lead straight back to the Michael Ash area? Because that's no good. Unless there's something super secret in the Michael Ash area. Okay, uh, let's go to Central Yarnum to acquire our weapon. And I guess while we're here, we could kill the Cleric Beast. But, I don't know, I don't really feel like it. Cleric Beast feels like a lot of effort for how many blood echoes you actually get from it. Moon 20%, huh? Let's see, which one's moon again? I don't remember what's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flame Sprayer! Good shit. We okay, don't need this anymore. Equip the Hunter's Torch. Oh, right. Moon's the one that gives you... Okay. I see then. I, I can see how that would be useful for farming and stuff. I'm not planning to go into the... Into the... Chalice dungeons on this character and get all the super OP online blood gems or any of that nonsense. I still don't like what they chose to do with that, where you kind of just have to grind for everything. Oh, I can't even put anything decent on this until it's plus three, but I'm already going to be using my uh, shards for this. That's all you need. Okay. Hello, Very well. Probably just gonna focus on vitality. Yeah. Makes sense. Farewell, good hunter. Farewell, good hunter. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna need is more bullets. Oh, I can get that in old Yarnum. We'll figure that out along the way.
Okay, now if I want to get, what's it called, um, Bone Marrow Ash, there is an NPC I can try to kill here. But I only have a plus two weapon, so that might be a little bit awkward. Especially since you have to fight this NPC while the Gatling gun jerk is shooting at you, so... I don't know. Usually I just run right past them. Just fuck all that noise, you know? Oh, come on. Oh, who's, where, who's this guy? Okay, hang on. There was one time I accidentally cheesed this guy because he just, like, ran off this cliff after I opened the thing. Okay. Oh, and that guy's here, too. He's just gonna heal once I've done damage to him. You seem kind of stuck. Oh boy. Ow! Awkward. Always cheese the Gatling gun? Oh, I don't know how to cheese that guy. I, I know how to fight him, but... I've seen him fall off before, but I don't know how to make it happen reliably. Do you have any sage wisdom for me on that, Rockstar? Rockstar? Because uh, I'm willing to learn. If there's a, an easier way to kill this guy. <laughs> Again, I had him fall off this ladder one time by accident. I've also had the other guy fall off a ladder, but I don't know how to make it happen. As soon as you get up, shoot twice with the pistol. Okay. Oh shit, he already knows I'm here. And then what? <laughs> I'm just curious about this cheese strategy. I don't really know what I'm doing, but let's do it. Oh god, I didn't have my pistol. Oh wow. I forgot. I'll take it. Totally calculated. Totally calculated. I meant for that to happen. It was all part of the strategy. Wow. I forgot that I didn't have... Oh wait, I can't get... Well, I bet if I quit out, that stuff will appear there and I'll get the, the oil hunter thing or whatever. Okay then, um, should I quit out? I hate waiting through these loading screens, but it'll probably appear at the top of the ladder now that I think about it. So I'll have to climb that. <laughs> we both learned, yeah, I totally forgot I didn't even have a pistol equipped at all. I just have the flame sprayer right now. But that sounds like a good idea. Just Shoot him right off the thing. Seems like a strat that would work. But he was being all fancy schmancy pantsy and then he just fell. Like an idiot. Oh, Bloodborne, you and your loading screens. And now I get to climb this really long ladder. For... I mean, I guess... Oil urns could come in handy, right? This this badge unlocks oil urns, if I recall correctly. Cool. Need help? Uh, not with anything specifically right now. Also, if you're offering online help, I'm afraid this whole shindig is offline. <laughs> Because I'm too much of a cheapskate to pay for PS4. Um, but you know, if, if you have like advice and stuff, I'm, I'm open to it. Because I have done a, I have officially done an arcade build before, but there's still a lot of things I don't know about the game because I started playing it relatively recently. Oh come on, that one whiffed. I should probably get my pistol for this guy, shouldn't I? Because like I don't know if I'm. I don't know if flame spray would... Whoa! That didn't do as much damage to me as I thought it would. Just, just give me a second here. Alright, let's see how flame spray works against this guy. 
Eh, it's not gonna stagger him, so it might be not so good. I think pistol would have a better chance of being affected. He's just gonna heal up now. I can take him on. Huh. Oh, dude. This NPC is totally outplaying me. Really now. Jerk. It is funny how you can kind of just do damage and then immediately dodge. God damn it, dude. I can't see shit. Oh no! I suck at fighting this guy. Alright, hang on a second. I'm... I'm whipping out that pistol. Just for yours truly. Even though I probably will completely fail the visceral attempts on this guy. It's at least worth having. Oh, that... what was that delay? He just R1 scans when I don't expect him to. This is like when I tried to kill Michael Ash in my first playthrough and I got totally wrecked just because... I don't know, his AI screwed with my brain so much for some reason. And everyone was like, Michael Ash is the easiest guy ever, how could you die to him? He's bloody ho- Kanehurst is the most difficult to fight. Yeah, I've heard a lot about him. I actually have not fought him yet. And I probably should get around to that because I'm pretty sure he exists on at least one of my characters. Don't you heal. Oh, he's going ham. Oh, come on. Don't you do this. I am not gonna get fucking cheesed at the last second. Oh my god. Finally. And there's my bone marrow ash, which I used up all of my health to get. <laughs> yeah, I've heard a lot uh, about the Bloody Crow. I haven't actually fought him yet. Sounds like one of those, like, almost impossible fights. It reminds me of, uh, old King Doran from Demon Souls, who was, like, an extremely difficult NPC enemy to kill. Mm, I kind of want to open this shortcut, but I kind of don't. Is this like blood vials or something? Yes, good. Good shit. God, there are so many items to equip for this section of the game, it's kind of ridiculous. In no other area do I feel compelled to have like everything on my hot bear, on my hot bar filled out. Okay. Quit chasing me, you doofuses. Now I'm going to very cowardly go unlock the uh, shortcut so that I can be safe. Also, there's more fire paper up here, which is always nice early in the game. Okay. Now let's go kill my favorite poison boy. Oh, what was that? What is happening here? Nobody knows where anyone is. Oh my god. Wait, hang on. This is such an awkward place to fight this guy. Whatever, let's just spam R1. Or L1, whatever. Lots of shards, I guess that's okay. I don't remember if beast blood pellets affect um, flamethrowers or not. I assume they wouldn't, but...
Oh. Ow. Those transform attacks are so overpowered. Saw your Alone in the Dark playthrough recently. Are you a fan of Lovecraft? The important capital L there. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean capital L? Is there another Lovecraft I should know about? I mean, I wouldn't call myself a fan. I've never really officially read much Lovecraft, but I have read at least one book. I don't remember what it was even called, though, so that, that's about how big of a fan I am. I don't remember what the Lovecraft book was called. <laughs> but I am a big fan of the old Alone in the Dark games, mostly by circumstance. I just was exposed to them at a very young age. When I run into like the Tomb Raider community a lot, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, my dad played Tomb Raider, so that's how I got into it. Whereas for me, the story is my mom played Alone in the Dark, <laughs> and my dad didn't really play video games, and then I just got super addicted to them for some reason. Okay, um, let's see here. Shouldn't need those. This guy's gonna freaking annoy me. What else do I need? Bone marrow ash. Definitely some pungent blood cocktails. Okay, that should be good enough. So I need bone marrow ash and pungent thing. We're gonna cheese the shit out of this boss. Wait! No! We don't have the right... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's try this again. Okay. I didn't have my flame spreader out. Alright, here we go. Bone marrow ashing it up. Let the motherfucker burn! Oh shit, I forgot to use those things. Whatever, it's over. I didn't even use any blood bullets, and I was planning to. <laughs> Whatever. I forgot all about them. I forgot- I forget a lot of things. Like the fact that I didn't even have the flame spire equipped. same oil is such a scarce resource. Is it though? I mean, I just got a hunter badge that lets me buy oil urns unlimited. So, I could always get more of that. I just didn't want to do it for this area specifically because it was one more item to keep track of. So, I don't know. Um, in saying, am I a fan of Lovecraft? I'm definitely a fan of a lot of things that are inspired by Lovecraft. Like, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem all about that game, and that's kind of a Lovecraft game. <sighs> Is that how? Um, what do you mean? I mean, let's see. I don't know if you can get it for Insight. Insight would be better for buying oil urns. But I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have the ability to just buy oil urns now. Yeah, see? It's not even that much. I could buy a shitload of them if I wanted. But I don't know about that. I kind of need bullets. I'm gonna get a lot of bullets in the next area, so I guess that's not a problem either. Mm -hmm. well, Very well. Alright, uh, all about that arcade. I kinda well. wanna go get the Tonitris now. And in the, on, along the way, I'll, I guess I'll just get more bullets. There's lots of enemies that drop bullets. Gonna play as Firebat on NG+. How does that work? I imagine just uh, Molotov cocktails by themselves with oil urns would be pretty strong on a, a high arcane build. I don't really know how much they scale with Arcane, but I know they, they get considerably stronger. I always thought it was dumb that in Dark Souls 3, firebombs scale with strength. It's like they were trying to do the Bloodborne thing, except just had it do strength instead of something else. 
Just makes strength builds seem a little too good. I don't know. They're already pretty good in Bloodborne. All the bullets. Do Molotov scale with Arcane? They certainly do. Molotov cocktails have uh, a fair amount of Arcane scaling. I think it even shows, yeah, A scaling. They also have some Strength scaling, I guess, but... I definitely noticed them being a bit stronger on my Arcane builds. Oh wow, this thing's not doing the greatest damage, because, I mean, it's just a lowly plus two weapon. Now, I don't remember if it's worthwhile to go upstairs for the Hunter Badge at this point, but... Hmm... I'm trying to think if I should just do that later. I might go get the Tonitrus, and then come back here with it to wreck people. I don't know. Tonitrus will be a very solid melee weapon for this character. Gotta get your doll outfit so you can sell it for big money. What's going on, Merle? Uh, would you say your name Merle or Merle or something else? <laughs> Wasn't sure about what to think of most scalings in Bloodborne. It's not a particularly transparent system with the scaling and elemental gems, etc. No, but it feels like at least the scaling's a little bit better laid out than Dark Souls 2. My big problem in Dark Souls 2 is that some scalings were just straight up liars. Like when you made an elemental weapon in that game, it said it had a B scaling with whatever element you were doing, but that just wasn't true at all for some reason. It was like barely scaled, if at all. And it said B, which in other contexts meant pretty decent uh, scaling, but not in that one. Going and get burned. See, that's that's some pretty solid Molotov damage, and this is only 19 arcane. But it also did that damage because it's a beast, and fire does a lot of damage to beasts in this game. I'm fine. How are you? Well, I'm just trucking away with Scientist Man here. He's got the crazy glasses. I tried to make them eyeball colored glasses. For science! You can't see science as well through other glasses. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, okay, we're gonna go fight Vicar Amelia in not too long, but I'm gonna need to get a lot more bullets before we do that. And I mean, that shouldn't be too difficult, but there is. There are a couple things I want to attend to here. First of all, we need one more Titanite Shard. I know just where to get it. Alright, what am I saying? Not one more Titanite Shard. One more, uh, Twin Blood Shard. Can I really not get past this? No! Get me out of here. What's up? Okay. I'm gonna need to take a break in not too long to use the bathroom and all that. But before that... What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let the Snatcher kill me. It should be okay since I only have 1700 thingies and... But just so long as I can get... this shard before he does. Come get me, bro! Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're afraid of heights. Don't give me that. You can do it. Is he really just not going to drop down here? Are you kidding me right now? Ugh. 
Is this like a cheese strat or something? I can just like fucking throw shit at him and he won't do anything? Oh, nice throw. Well, I... Oh, there he goes. Alright, come at me, brother. I literally just want this guy to kill me. You'll see why eventually. Now, this place is going to be a little crazy. I'm probably going to die a few times. But it'll be worth it. Certainly. Is Gale actually pronounced like jail? I have no idea. G-A-O-L. I don't know where that word applies exactly. Might be said like jail, though. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. I'm running out. I'm running out of these... Molotovs. Okay, let's try to get to the lantern. Might get wrecked a little bit. Okay, cool. Ah! Okay, there's a goddamn witch here. These witches are the most annoying thing. They grab you once and you're pretty much dead. Uh, let's see here. Do not want to get charged by this pig. He's going to charge me. Great. I don't even need to go here. Okay, well, if these pigs decide to charge me, just throw the thing. Oh god, he won't throw it. It's to distract these stupid dogs. You know what? It doesn't matter if I die. I got the compass. Finish the job. You know what deal is the Yargle? Like, is it parallel universes or what's going on? I don't know, man. I, I will say that one of my uh, lore in Dark Souls games is certainly not one of my strong suits. I do know a few details about some of the older games, but in general when I go through areas and there's like lore stuff, I'm just kind of like, eh, yeah, whatever. But I guess the idea is that it has something to do with the Blood Moon, which you kill Rom, the Vacuous Spider. I mean, that's not nothing... What am I saying? That's not anything you don't, you don't already know, but that's all I can think of. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timer. Yeah. Stupid timer. Okay. Well, now I can't see the chat because I was using my phone. And I also can't stop moving because the stupid witch is on my ass. Okay, hang on. There we go. Chat's back up, but I... Oh god. I'm just trying to go over here. Was I want, wanting to get here again? Just some, just some blood echoes, I guess. There's gonna be witches here, so I'm probably gonna die again. Oh my god! Just grab the loot. Oh, nice. More blood vials. How am I even still alive? Um. Yeah, then we got all these fungies. Let's see here. I still have bone marrow ash, but I'm probably gonna get wrecked. We'll see. No. 
please just burn. Aw, oh, really? Not good. Okay, hang on. I have some fire paper. <laughs> Awkward. Ow. Why don't you kill that thing that wants to destroy you? Because I was just kind of running around. I don't know. And also because it'll take like 5 million hits. That was me just deciding to fight Dark Beast Parl for a second. Hmm. I guess Bone Marrow Ash isn't, doesn't increase damage that that much. I, you, once you stagger that boss once, it's like over. You can kill her so easily. I think it's a her? I don't know. It's it's vague. Some wikis refer to Dark Beast Parl as female because the word, because the name Parl is like a Dutch feminine name. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually supposed to be female, but you never know. It's an interesting place for the fog gate. I guess we'll just use the good old... Oh god. Am I just gonna die instantly? I'm gonna blow up. Blow up. Great. Hang on, Parl. Just calm your tits for a second. Please. Really? I still can't get the stagger. Well... This boss is so easy, but I'm getting wrecked. Also... Whatever. Run around with a door attached to a frame while continuously opening and closing it in order to... What the fuck? What are you going on about? Also, am I completely out of blood vials now? That's too bad. I guess you're supposed to have more than a plus two weapon to, when you fight Parl. I don't know, I thought that my setup would work fine. Guess I'll just focus on not that, not that. Just these blood pellets, if that's what it takes. I'm just too lazy to like go back and become OP. I'll try one more time of this, and then we'll just go back, do the things we were supposed to do. Really? I'm already fucking dead? I can't stagger her at all, apparently. Alright, Parl. Fuck you. I'll just come back and kill you with a flamethrower later. I thought I could get him with the the weapon and as long as I used a beast pellet, but he's just not letting me hit him at all, and then I suck ass at dodging. Too bad. Okay, so I shouldn't need to level up much, but I do have these thingies. Let's see, how am I doing on normal shards? Not great. Hmm. I should be able to buy them with my uh, insight. 
Let's see here. Do I really only have one madman's knowledge? Are you kidding me? What a bunch of bullshit. But it's fine. Wait, I can't buy them? Are you kidding me, dude? What do you need to get to buy bloodstone shards? Because they're always available so fucking early, and I, I can't... That it, like, I just assumed you could buy them. Well, that sucks. I can't even upgrade my Tantris properly, but I can do this at least. Hmm... Welcome. Very well. Let's see, where can I get more... Oh shit, I need more strength to wield the Tonitrus. There we go. But I definitely need more Bloodstone Shards. Before I get serious here. Don't you buy Shards with Echoes? You can, I guess. But... You can buy it with either, I know that much. But it's it's a much better deal if you just use Mad Ben's Knowledge. But I'm so annoyed that I don't... That I can't buy them yet. Because I know they become available to buy... At some point. I don't know. Maybe I can find that out real quick. It's probably like, oh, you just kill Vicar Amelia and then you can buy them. Or something stupid like that. Sold by the Insight Vendor after defeating Bloodstarred Beast. Well, I defeated the Bloodstarred Beast and he's not selling them, so the Wikipedia is wrong. <laughs> Great. Sold by Blood Echoes Vendor after obtaining the Radiant Sword Hunter. It must be that you just have to get the Radiant Sword Hunter. Radiant Sword Hunter badge because yeah the, the the thing saying you need to kill Bloodstar Beast is incorrect apparently that's dumb makes me mildly annoyed okay um now I need to fix the chat I guess I'll just go get the Radiant badge might as well I just want them so I can get a plus plus three Tonitrus. I'm not going to be using Tonitrus for Vicar Amelia anyway, so all I really need is the, the bullets from this area. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm obtaining the Radiant Sword Hunter badge by going to uh, Healing Church Workshop or whatever this place is called. In the process, I'm testing out my new weapon, which is one of the coolest fucking things ever. I cannot get enough of this Tonitrus shit, I tell ya. This weapon's big downside is that you have to buff it all the time, and it doesn't have a very, uh... It has a pretty limited moveset, but I still think it's such a cool weapon that it doesn't matter. And who cares about having to buff all the time? I mean, really. It's so satisfying to buff. blood tinge gem in there that I don't need. Oh, whoops. Oh, I don't have any blood vials. Which is a little bit concerning. Actually, let's go ahead and swap this to the hunter pistol for a second. I guess we shouldn't do the pistol after all. Alright, here we go. Some blood vials. Lugarious wheel. Uh, my only issue with the wheel is doesn't it require a fair amount of strength? 
as I recall correctly. I'm trying to hit this guy without making him fall off. Turns out it wasn't worth it because he didn't drop anything anyway, so whatever. But yeah, I guess I could go check out the wheel. But isn't it like partly a strength weapon? I've heard that this weapon is more ideal for strength and arcane. But fuck that shit. Just keep buffing it and it still does great damage. I don't want to level up strength too much on this character too early. Like, I still want to kind of focus on doing hunter tool shenanigans later on. In fact, from this point, I'm pretty much just going to level up arcane and not much else, probably. So that my hunter tools will do decent damage. Which I haven't obtained yet, but we'll get to that. Alright, uh, so now I have the Sword Hunter Badge and lots of bullets. What I don't have is lots of blood vials, so maybe I can go kill Cleric Beast real quick for that. Because there's lots of blood vials you can find along the way. Okay, um, so I have the Sword Hunter Badge, now hopefully it'll let me purchase. God damn it, it still doesn't. That's a bunch of bullshit, man. So what actually triggers letting you buy those? I don't want to spend Blood Echoes on them, I don't have nearly enough. I have all this insight that I don't fucking need. And it won't even let me buy... Hmm. And the wiki is completely incorrect about what lets you buy stuff, because I already killed the Bloodstarved Beast. You are incorrect, wiki! How dare you be incorrect about anything? <laughs> um... Let's see... Wonder if the wiki dot will know. Dropped by purchase from Bathmaster for Blood Echoes for one insight after defeat. It says it on this one too. You can def purchase it after defeating Bloodstarved Beast. So what the fuck, man? How is everything wrong about this? <laughs> everything says I can buy it after defeating Bloodstarved Beast, and I was very dependent on that. But I guess I'll just kill Vicar Amelia now? It's not like I need the Tantris to be upgraded. <sighs> well, I, I just said I'm gonna kill the... Whatchamacalls it? It's the Cleric Beast first. Just for the Blood Vials. Oh, I wonder if killing the Cleric Beast unlocks the Bloodstone Shards. Maybe I can check that out, because if that's if that's what's actually the case, well, that wouldn't make sense, because then you could just buy them before even fighting Father Gascoigne, and that would be, like, really good. That doesn't seem right. Ooh. Doesn't stagger him too much, but it still does. Pretty damn solid damage. Let's try the transform attack. Whoop. Ow! Fuck, man. I screwed that up big time. And didn't... I hate it when these guys drop shining coins. I still don't really understand what shining coins are for, so... Whatever. Do I 
Really? You're gonna drop bloodstone shards for me? Whoa, where'd your friend go? Oh. Well, these guys are gonna be resistant to the Tonitrus. But it still does pretty solid damage to them. All things considered. What's going on, Neto? How you doing? Ah, I should get Molotovs out. Don't need that, don't need that. Just keep the Molotovs. Oh, the other thing I want is bone marrow ash. It's not hitting him. Just keep burning him. GG. So this is what arcane builds are about, Neto. <sighs> Fainted in work. Due to overwork, oh god. Well, that's not good. Sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. It sucks big time. Well. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Hunter's Mark to farm for some more blood files. Doing. Whatever. How's the durability doing? Not too hot, but that's fine. Too much people in McDonald's. Hot as fuck in Brazil. That southern hemisphere, though. Oh god. Gotta be careful about getting stunlocked by these guys. Maybe you can just get burned. Ow. This weapon is so cool. Even against enemies that are, like, strong against Bolt, which I believe those uh, werewolf enemies are not ideal for this weapon's damage type. It still wrecks things. Doesn't give a fuck about resistances. Gonna get some cold beer? Enjoy that. You've earned it. Needless to say. Hello? Okay, that's a fair amount of blood vials now. Let's just go spend whatever echoes we have. Oh. Making me think about hot coffee, BRB. Everyone's BRBing, and I'm planning to BRB, so there's gonna be some BRB going on. Big time. Um, let's see. Just sit your ass down. Cyanist man is taking a little break, just sitting in the middle of the street, 
because why not? And I will be right back. Give me about seven or eight minutes. I know that's kind of a long time, but I gotta tend to a few things.
Okay, finally back. Okay. Probably the most upsetting thing about using my um, phone to look at chat is that every time I tab it out, any time I go to a different tab on the phone, it seems to completely reset everything. Still can't buy fucking Titanite, which is just silly. I need a bunch more Titanite shards. I'm not even sure where to get them. I mean, I know there's a couple more in old Yarnum. I just don't want to go on a big scavenger hunt for them when I could. St I supposed to be able to buy them with Insight. That's what all the wikis say. But they're all fucking incorrect. Whatever. Let's just go murder the shit out of uh, a beast. I guess I could buy more Molotovs. That seems like a pretty good use. Oh. Before the prices go up, because once you kill Vicar Amelia, all the prices, like, double, practically. Oh, uh, welcome back, Neto. You're just in time, because I just got back myself. Okay, Cathedral Ward it is. About to go fight Vicar Amelia. Do 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 Don't talk to me about Chalice Dungeons. I'm scarred by Chalice Dungeons. You fought with Lady Maria yet? Yeah, I have um, a couple characters I did. I have a whole uh, VOD recording. Okay, so it's it's this way that I, I always get turned around here. Um, I should probably go ahead and upload the VOD for my Blood Tinge DLC playthrough. Because that was a pretty fun stream. Not gonna pick up the shield, because it's not worth it. Um, I guess I don't really need to open this. Anything like that. Let's just try and run past this guy. Big shit. No pointing, that's rude. Don't have a PS4 to play it. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, again, this... This boss might make me struggle a little bit if I'm in the middle of trying to uphold my my um bullets but we'll just see how it goes should be fine i don't know oh i should have used uh, the oil urns wait you don't have the the game either but yeah this game's ps4 only Think about this. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, what am I doing? No, I pressed. I did the things in the wrong order. I was trying to use the stupid. I was trying to use the uh, blood bullets. I don't even. I can't even tell what the boss is doing. She's like hitting behind me. this in. I can't see what you're doing. Okay. Don't do it. Okay, I don't want to get grabbed by that. I can't see shit. Oh no. 
She's just spamming the grab attack. Alright, we're fine. Came to watch the stream, I thought this was Dark Souls. Oh, right, 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 Merla. Makes sense. Um, okay then. Fair enough. Let's see, I kind of want to run through the, uh, Helmet Carnell Lane. I feel like when you, when you touch the skull and turn day into night, that usually makes certain enemies appear that wouldn't otherwise appear. So let me just see here. I'm gonna go collect some items and some kills. But yeah, basically the story with Bloodborne is it's it's kinda like Dark Souls, just has a very different setting. Not a big fan of RPG. I get that. There's a lot of types of games that I'm not a big fan of, oddly enough. I'm very, uh, closed when it comes to this stuff. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh god, I'm gonna die so hard. Awkward. Give me all the bullets. Bone marrow ash, that's what I'm here for. This weapon is not enough to one-shot him because it's still only plus two. Also, isn't it durability like really low at this point? 53 out of 100, yeah, that's not so great. I'm getting all the quick server bullets, so that's something. Oh god. Seems good against those guys. Okay. Bought Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 4 on Steam, and I'm trying to speedrun. Oh dear god. Well, which one are you trying? Because there's very different tips for each one, I guess, but... I'd recommend speedrunning Tomb Raider 1 first, because it's probably the easiest to learn out of those three. Um, otherwise, I'm not too great with the tips. Didn't buy three, good job. Yeah, I can see being having a thing against three. Get absolutely wrecked. Oh come on! Really? Oh, wait, did I just hit that lady again when she was like fifty feet away? Oh weird. Cool. Alright, well now we have enough twin shards to upgrade our little hand lamp again. However, how many more would I need? I guess if I was to get... No, no, I, if I need five more and then eight more after that, that would be... Like, I can math. I need seven more in that case, well, so I'm just going to go back from here. Already beat a lot of times on PS4. There's some glitches that I can't do. I mean, is one of them the very first glitch in the game where you glitch through that one corner? Or there's this one glitch where you jump up at a thing and make her teleport up. That one's a little tricky to learn, I guess. But again, if, if you want to do glitched in general, there's going to be really tricky, annoying stuff, no matter what. 
Well, what? I would almost recommend, like, if you, you just want to get into speedrunning, I would recommend trying out Glitchless. Just for now. Farewell, good and otherwise, uh, if my main tip for learning how to do the glitch runs is just watch glitched speedruns. Uh, find speedrun.com, look at the various runs. Because some of them might use different strats than others, keep that in mind. Some of them might have easier strats for certain places. And then just uh, try to imitate what they do. That's, that's how I've learned about this stuff, at least. Okay, Flame Splayer plus five. Still need more Bloodstone Shards. <sighs> and I still can't fucking buy them. I don't understand. I really should be able to buy them by now. Like, I killed the fucking Bloodstar Beast. What more do you want, game? I don't get it. What more do you want from me? Can anybody figure out why the fuck this game won't sell me? Like, I literally just did this on a different character, practically. And this was not an issue. Oh, god, and I hate how chat works on the non-mobile app. Corner Blitz is pretty easy to figure out. The teleport one. I mean, that glitch, again, there's nothing really I can say about it other than you need to keep trying it and just keep getting... trying to get the position right. Because it's, it's very precise, but it's not like one of those glitches that's where you have to be pixel perfect. Also, why am I not getting... Did I already get the key to be swept away or whatever? Oh, because I didn't... I didn't do the thing with Lawrence's skull. I guess I can do that now. Alright, I'll touch the skull, make day turn into night, and then I'll run to uh, the Forbidden Woods. It's so weird, isn't it? Every single wiki says the same thing. You can buy it for insight once you beat the Blood Star Beast. And I am proving right now that that's incorrect. I mean, maybe the, the game just think... Maybe the game's just bugged out? Oh, for the slope glitch in Tomb Raider 2, there is a setup for it, but I really don't remember how it worked. The glitch at the beginning of Tomb Raider 2, I don't remember well enough. Like, there, Crit used to use a setup for it that was like 100% consistent. There is a way you can do it, a, a method that's easier where you get it every time, but I don't remember how to do it because I haven't done it any time recently. So sorry about that. I guess I'll collect some madman's knowledge around here. I can become a real madman. In the deck I do some corner glitches, but my time... Oh. I mean... All I can say is that you have to look at the speedruns themselves and imitate them. You can't just, like, wing it. You have to imitate everything they do, even down to the, the little details. Well, when it comes to really hard strats, like the one at the very beginning of Tomb Raider 2, where you do the, the slope bug, that is pretty hard to get down. I don't know. Need more insight to know why you can't spend it. Right. I don't get it. Again, it makes no sense to me that I can't buy Titanite Shards still. Even though I killed the Bloodstar Beast. I killed the shit out of him. Also, I have no blood vials. That's a thing. Very charming. Do not imitate the person who has world record, actually. That's one thing that I will recommend, Merle, for learning these things. 
crit like you don't want to try to imitate people like crit who can do all like the most risky strats and just nail them because he's so because of, he's so experienced at this point you want to try to learn from someone who has easier strats which isn't as much of a thing as it used to be because the so many people have speedrun it now that they've just optimized the strats so much but there are people who do strats that are easier for, for even for glitched like there's always a different way to do glitches basically is what i'm saying usually i was the one who would use the stupid uh lazy strats but there we go okay so from what i gather you have in order to get according to this at least in order to buy bloodstone shards with insight well this is inconclusive actually either you need to enter the forbidden woods or you need to simply touch lawrence's skull have day turn into night but that has nothing to do with the blood starved beast so i don't know why all these fucking i don't know why all these wikis be tripping um okay cool i didn't need to buy that many that was too many whoops oh well upgrade tonitrus probably gonna save the rest of my twin shards for the flame sprayer for now um oh and i finally get this eye of the blood drunk hunter very good oh wow blood vials are expensive all of a sudden great well there's a couple places where i can collect shards i guess i'll go back to the forbidden woods i want to go to the forbidden woods actually partly because there's uh blue elixirs there like Fathom's one? Uh, what do you mean, like Fathom's one? Like the one in 40 Fathoms. Right, right, right. There are many ways to do that glitch, for example. But for just about any glitched strat you can think of, there's another way to do it that's different. Might not be easier, but there's always various ways to do glitches. Every, Basically, every glitch you see is like that. I can't think of any exceptions off the top of my head. The buffer thing... Here's the thing, there's like several strats that require buffers, or at least used to require buffers, so I'm still not sure which one you're thinking of. My god, this weapon is badass. Oh shit, did I forget? Okay, no, it's fine. I, I realize I didn't repair it, but I upgraded it, and it automatically repairs it, so. Cool. Cool beans. Still don't have any <laughs> blood vials, so that's, that's a thing. That was close. There we go, now we have blood vials. Cool. Let's go this way. Oh shit, the other thing I want. Oh wow. Whoops. Forgot you were here. You need to chill the fuck out. beast pellets here. Can I really not pick that up? Okay, good. Yoink. I'm gonna go back here and try to collect the blue elixirs, which will be useful in quite a few areas, actually. Um, I think it's up here. Let's just kill these dogs for good measure. Poor defenseless dogs in cages. I have no regrets. There's my blue elixirs. Oh, hi there. You're stuck. Let me help you there. Now you are no longer stuck. The only buffer thing I can now, thanks to McKeel, is the one in Offshore Rig. Alright, so at least that's something. You've learned that one. That's probably the most straightforward buffer strat. I don't know, it's just hard for me to explain it while I'm playing 
Bloodborne. Um, also, let's see. I guess I'll equip those. Stair glitch you've tried. So, okay, so which one is the stair glitch? Is that like... I'm trying to think. Oh, God. Please don't bludgeon me, good sir. Um... Trying to remember what stair glitch. Oh right, stair glitches. Now I know what you're talking about. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So you're thinking of a stair bug that happens in which level? Hideout and opera. I see. Okay. So the one in opera is a bit difficult. I still have trouble with that one, but the one in Hideout, there is a way to make it fairly consistent. I mean, there's a way to make both of them fairly consistent, they're, but they're always going to be a pain in the dick. <laughs> so the one with Hideout, um, there's a couple ways to go about it. The Probably the most frustrating, but also the simplest way, is to just get into that position where your back faces the wall, and then you you just kind of mash the backward button while holding walk and it causes Lara to be buffered slightly. Like, it's not menu buffering, it's just you can press the button until Lara's in the exact right place. But the issue with that is that it's very finicky about where exactly you have to be, and also it's easy to overshoot it when you're under pressure doing a speedrun. The way I set it up is really kind of impossible to explain without showing you, but you can stand at a certain angle where you can do a roll. You can press the roll button, and that'll put you in the exact place that you need to be. Once you're in the right position, performing the glitch itself also requires some knowledge. I don't know. Um, you gotta, like, walk into the wall. Again, I can't give you super helpful advice right this second, but I can try to refer you to people who might. There's lots of people who speedrun Dark, uh, what am I saying, not Dark Souls, Tomb Raider these days, other than me, since I'm a, a quitter, apparently. Okay, we got Kate Hurst summons. We got 9,000 Blood Echoes. I guess I can just... Spend those on blood vials, maybe? I really need blood vials. How am I doing on twin shards? Really? I think I had more than that. Wow. Well, either I could use them to upgrade the Tantris right here, right now, or I could save them and get the flame sprayer upgraded. I don't know. A lot of glitches took you a lot of time to figure out with the Fench glitch. Yeah. It's pretty tricky. <laughs> I guess... I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and save them and do the DLC shenanigans, maybe. Because the neither the Flame Sprayer nor the Tonitrus being upgraded is gonna help me much in the DLC. I'm just gonna get wrecked anyway. One last thing though. Let's go ahead and repair this. Opera House stair bug, the thing that drives me nuts about that one is how you can't see anything unless you have a flare lit, but you also kind of have to use a flare to perform the glitch, so it's, it's this awkward situation where you, you should only have one flare left at that point in the game, so you don't want to fuck it up. Like, just, just failing it once means it's over, unless you make a save. Still have more fun making an l and &M. Indeed. An l and &M is a good way... Honestly, NL and M is a pretty decent way to get into speedruns, even though they're very different from speedruns, because 
it at least helps familiarize you with the layout of the game without like forcing you to do all kinds of crazy wacky shit that you might not know how to do, you know? It has its own kind of system. Also, this is happening. I'm afraid not. The guy has skills. For I am a mere offline pleb who is too cheap to pay for PS4 Plus. <laughs> I will do co-op at some point, but not just yet. There's someone I know who has this game who I might do a co-op playthrough with eventually, but I just hate the idea of... I don't play enough PS4 games yet, I feel, to justify getting the whole online thing. But someday I shall. Oh, let's not forget to light this. So now we're in the DLC and we're probably going to get absolutely destroyed. Uh, I guess I have a couple of those and a couple of these. The blue elixirs are to try to slip past certain enemies, but I'm not going to... I'm going to use them very sparely. Sparingly. What even are words? Um, whoops. Ow, that delay. Alright, while he's dealing with those guys, I will loot this place. If you like BB, get DS3 and Wisher 3, they are great. Oh, cool. Okay. Put subscription system in your channel? Oh dear. Is that so, Neto? I'm sorry, I haven't really paid enough attention to my channel to add anything like that. I do have a donation system, but I'm not even sure how it works when I'm streaming through PS4. Also, that guy has kills. I do, in fact, already own Dark Souls 3 on the PC. I play that quite a bit. I even stream it too. But I am considering getting it on PS4 just because of like the fact that I've, I've heard the online activity is better. Also, I did already play it once on the uh, Xbox One and I don't know. It, it just feels like there's more people online in general on consoles for whatever reason even though the PC version of Dark Souls 3 is not very old. Oh god. Alright, let's just try to rush through these guys. Oh god. Get out of the way. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna make a, a break for the lantern. Try not to get destroyed. Ow! Serpentine, Serpentine. PvP and DS3. Yeah, I find T PvP pretty pretty good for Dark Souls 3 PC still. It just, I got the sense that in PS4 it's a little more active, especially at lower levels. But I don't know for sure. I know it runs at 30 FPS, it's capped instead of 60. And that kind of works out for me because despite having... Dark Souls 3 on PC, my PC isn't really good enough to run it optimally, so I run it at minimum settings, which has its downfalls, as you might imagine. Okay, let's just make a run here. I won't get worked up if I die here, because I kind of expect to die. Oh god. Don't jump, damn it. I hate that you can accidentally jump in this, just like Dark Souls 1. Okay, that's one chunk. 
And then this is the main place where I could theoretically use this elixir. Um, I won't use it to deal with this guy, but when I go into the other room. I want... Okay, hang on. Just, just, just give me a sec here. Get over here. Drink the elixir. Like got that chunk. And I'm just gonna loot everything that's in here. Doesn't matter if I die. Okay, cool. The elixir definitely helps with that. I'm not gonna try to kill that guy, because he's very tough. Wow, this thing lasts longer than I thought. I guess I'll just warp back. Alright, very smooth. We got some chunks. Again, I am legitimately considering getting Dark Souls 3 for PS4, but if I did that, it would only be after I'd bought some kind of... Uh, I, would, I would want to have online for PS4 at that point because then there would be not much point in doing it offline. Will you do a boss rush in BB? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Is there... Do you just mean like a speed run? Because that's kind of what that sounds like in this context. I know there's a boss rush mod in Dark Souls 3 that I kind of want to try out, but I assume you're talking about something Bloodborne related. Get out of the way! You big jerk. Ooh, that's even staggering. Now where are you going? Oh shit, that damage. That's some crazy shit right there. There's no way to do it in PS4, right? That's bad. <laughs> no kidding. It's solid and offline, so... Right, right, right. It's just, I've already played PS... Oops. I played Dark Souls 3 quite often on PC. So if I was to get it on PS4, I would want it to be online, because then that would be, like, the main reason for switching. At least in my case. I would also want to try it, like I said, my PC is kind of weak, so I run the game at minimum settings to make it work. But at least with the peak console version, it's kind of automatically set to decent graphics. No Assassin's Creed Origins? I can't say I've ever liked the Assassin's Creed games all that much from what I've played of them, but I'm very finicky about that stuff. I, I like my games... Not very plot-driven. <laughs> That's the only similarity I can think of between Tomb Raider and Dark Souls, is that neither of them is very plot-driven. They're all about the hack and slash, or the action. Okay. Unlocked that thing. I guess I should use a Molotov for this guy, but don't go over there. Okay. Only thing that's down here is blood vials. Yeah. Youch. I just want to collect a couple more things down here. Nothing super important. Can't run DS3 on it because of your GPU. Yeah, my, my PC is like okay, but the motherboard's kind of old and it only supports like kind of old processors. I think my GPU, bleh, I think my GPU is okay, but my CPU processor leaves a little to be desired. <laughs> and I think that's the main reason I can't run Dark Souls 3 at optimal settings. Uh, 
Uh, oh, wow, really? Looks like one of the crows got my blood echoes. only 5,000, so not really a big deal, but still, I like holding on to it. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. Calm down. Ow! Dude literally just hit me through the thing. What a jerk. And I just wasted two blood vials, kind of. But whatever. So, let's see, that should give us quite a few chunks, but we don't even have the thing at plus six yet, so why don't we do that? I also bought a bunch of stuff, or I picked up a bunch of stuff that can be sold for high amounts of blood echoes, so let's go and sell those things and get ahead in life. 775 socket. Yo, no, I, I imagine mine's not as bad as yours. I don't know. If it's dual core, then that's probably a bad sign. Because even mine's quad core, and I don't consider mine very good. It might be the bare minimum of what quad core can do, for all I know. I don't really know anything about... Just, just, just going to throw it out there. I know nothing about computer stuff. I, I did build my own PC computer, my, my own gaming computer. I put it together like Legos, but it doesn't mean I actually know anything about what the specs are, how things work. I have people that I ask about that, so... Meh. Alright, sell the doll outfit. Gives you pretty good money. And then sell Whirligig Saw and amygdalan arm. Even though amygdalan arm is an arcane weapon, I'm not planning to level up my strength much right away. So we're just going to sell it to the highest bidder, which happens to be these random little freaks that I hang out with in this game. Okay, so what am I doing? Um, Flames Player. Uh, hmm. If I could get a Bloodstone Chunk to drop from something, that would be great. But I think for now, I'm not going to get past plus seven until I go to Castle Canehurst. Alright, Neto. Yeah, sounded like you had a real Very rough well. day, so get some good sleep. And I will catch you some other day. I <laughs> just... Dump everything into Arcane, because why not? Farewell. Farewell, good hunter. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I guess... Hmm, how are we doing on Twin Shards? Oh, really? I just need one more Twin Shard to get this thing to plus five. Or, no, plus four. I would need... Wait, what? Right now I just can't do anything because I don't have the Blood Echoes for it. That's awkward. Hang on, let's just sell one little thing. Um, I don't need that. I just want to get a stupid time to plus four. That's all I ask. Now I can go kill the Witch of Hemwick, I guess? You could either kill the Glitch of Hangwick or clear out the Forbidden Forest. Let's do the Witch of Hemwick. Because that will allow me to go to the um, Lecture Building, where I can get Augur of Abritus. That'll be pretty fun. I guess Augur is not going to do very much damage at this point in the game, but I still want to get it. Because I'm an Arcane Man, damn it. I'm a scientist, man. It's my mission. Okay, I'm just gonna run through this part. Because these witches are actually pretty annoying. They can really hurt. Now, I'm still not fully... I still don't fully understand... Ow, ow, ow. I still don't fully understand... What causes... Hang on, hang on. 
Whoa, that guy's there. I can't believe I'm alive. I got a little distracted by trying to talk. <laughs> what was I trying to say? Um, something about something. I lost my train of thought. I don't know. Uh, I, but the point is, I want to get to Nightmare Frontier because there's enemies there that have a chance of dropping a Bolt Blood Gem. And I believe this thing, yeah, this uses the waning slot, so I, I can use it for my Conatris to make it a bit more powerful. Oh, right, the thing I was blabbering about before I got messed up was I don't know what causes certain enemies here to appear. There's these big spooky guys that pop out of the ground. Seemingly, they seem to do that if you go here before touching Lawrence's skull and making it nighttime. I guess. Like, if you don't unlock the 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 lantern here before doing that, then those enemies spawn. But I don't really know what it, how it works. All I know is it makes the area considerably easier. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and equip Molotovs. Because it makes sense. Wait. Did I just miss the little guy? Was I, like, too busy talking? Okay, fine. Be like that. We're gonna quit out to make the screaming beast reappear. <clears throat> Which will take a second, because I have to load up the whole goddamn thing and sit through all the logos. One thing, part of why I'm not super keen on getting online for PS4 and all that is because I'm still debating whether I want to focus more on upgrading my PC. Um, because, like, when I first bought the PS4, it was kind of a choice between, okay, do I want a PS4 or do I want a new processor? Because they're around the right price. They're around the same price range, getting a, a non-pro PS4 or a new processor. But it's turning out I might need to replace my motherboard if I'm gonna get like a, a really decent processor, so I don't know if that's even gonna work out. Might just be better to go the console route. Oh, hi. I just want to open this shortcut. And then go fight the witch. Oh shit! Wait, hold on. I'm not ready <laughs> for any of that. Jesus Christ, dude. Um. Oh wow, this guy gets wrecked by Bolt. Not bad. Okay, that gives me some more twin shards. How many do I have all together? Ten. That's still not quite enough to upgrade this weapon, but it's something. Okay, let's see here. I should have more bone marrow ash. Cool. Don't need the cocktail, don't need that. Shouldn't need that. We'll just have these two things. Awesome sauce. Guess I'll kill this first guy. Alright, I see where you are, witch. You cannot hide from me. Maybe you can. Ugh. 
really? Hang on, I thought she wasn't teleporting yet. Whatever. Oh, there she is. Alright, here we go. Get burned! Really? You're not dead yet? Well, that's... Hang on. Whoa, you're running over here. Careful there. You might hurt someone. Okay. Is this the one? Nope. Oh, I was trying to crit. That's the one. Okay, so you're dead. She's gonna pop back up after a while anyway. She's actually in a really awkward spot. Because now this guy's fucking guarding her. Hello? Wait. Whoa. Uh oh, that's not good. I might be dead here. Oh, wow. She actually got me. This is my first time ever dying to this boss. Legitimately. I've never died. Ever. Weird. Oh, well. It's a pretty quick run back, I think. Oh, well, it's not that quick. I, I have a shortcut, but I still have to run really long ways. Well, that was fucking dumb. I guess I should just focus on using the melee attacks, because you need to be able to stagger the witch, otherwise your attacks are, like, useless. And the flame sprayer does not stagger at all, ever. It just damages. So that was dumb. I'm upset about that, because, again, I've never once died to this boss. Not even when I did, like, super, super underleveled... I, I, in fact, I'm pretty sure I killed her with an unupgraded weapon once and still didn't have any difficulty. Because it's just a very, I don't know, passive fight. You just kind of backstab her over and over again. Maybe I would have won if I used more firebombs. I guess I should save the bone marrow ash for something else. Ow! I assume she's not weak to Bolt, but you never know. What? Okay, well that one's dead now. The other one's over here. Oh, what? What the fuck was that? Really? That was like instant. Okay. Whoa, I didn't know she could just spam that attack multiple times. Really? No, don't, don't. Go down there. Oh, whatever. Okay. What? You're just really, literally reappearing right here? Awkward. Alright then. We got wrecked by the Witch of Hemway. Which is unfortunate, but 
It's basically like dying to pinwheel in Dark Souls. It just doesn't happen except when it does, and then you're like face palm. <sighs> rune workshop tool, that's very nice, although I don't know if we really picked up any good runes yet. We kind of just have the basic bitch ones. Time to go to Castle Kanehurst. Oh my god. Dude's just waiting for me. I wonder how these guys are against fire. Yeah. I guess it's okay, but for three bullets, meh. It still doesn't stagger anything, which makes it tricky for some parts. Get wrecked. Again, those guys are super weak against this weapon. Um, don't think there's anything I really want to loot here, so let's just go ahead to Kanehurst. Got a nice horse-drawn cart just for me. Very fancy. Welcome to Hogwarts. In fact, I even used a letter that looks suspiciously like the Hogwarts letter to get here. I guess those summons are just a standard thing for gothic castles, huh? Okay, now there's a lot of interesting stuff we can get here. But there's also a whole lot of interesting ways we can get completely wrecked here. So... I gotta be careful. Oh god, this guy's on me. Look at this freak! Ah. I hate, the, hate those guys. Just gotta say. Okay. Let's go over here. That's a weapon that we can sell for big money. Hi there. Hi, nice to see you. Greetings. Please don't murder my face. If you please. Uh, this way. One thing about this castle is it has a lot of boobs in it. All these naked statues. Just kind of chilling. Okay, I think a guy might be chasing me. Well, that's what it sounded like, but he gave up. Oh dear. So the damage isn't even that great, but it really staggers the shit out of these guys, apparently. Also, they have a chance of dropping a chunk, so maybe I should kill more of them. We don't want to get grabbed there. I don't remember which one I did damage to. Not that one, apparently. Okay. Only twin shards, oh well. It would be really nice if they dropped a chunk, because then I would not have to get the one in the Forbidden Woods, which I am otherwise going to have to get. Alright, 
before we do anything else, we're opening the shortcut. So now if we die, we can get back pretty easily. to fight that guy because there's all these ladies surrounding him. Okay. Try not to get hit by too many of the darts. You can't even see him, but you can hear the guys are shooting darts at me. Okay. Where are my vampires at? drop still, but that's fine. So this place is a little awkward to say the least because there's the headless ghosts can stun you and that makes you open to the other enemies. So you gotta watch out. I forget what's in here. Ah, good. That is our first hunter tool, I believe. Which is good, because hunter tools are essentially spells that scale with arcane and deal arcane damage. They're this game's equivalent of magic spells. I actually don't want this guy to fall off so I can lose corpse. Okay, still no chunks. Too bad. I might need to fight some people here. I'm not sure. Maybe he won't notice me? Oh, looks like he's just doing his own thing. Cool. Good shit. That's what I like to see. Um. So I guess that's a blood tinge gemstone, so we don't need that. There's a scurrying beast around here? I think that's the only other piece of loot I have to get. Boink. So let's see, that means we have seven chunks. We'll need... Hmm... So if I'm at plus seven right now, we need a bunch more. All right, we need the chunks from the Nightmare Frontier as well. So that's going to be our next place to go. Oh dear. Grab. The number one rule in any Souls game. So they have projectile attacks, I guess. I guess. Do these guys take more damage from behind or something? Is that their thing? Well, they're not dropping nice shit, but at least they're giving me lots of blood echoes. That's something, right? Also, I got my knight's wig, which is worth a lot. I'm actually not going to fight the boss here, though. Just because I want to get stuff upgraded a bit first. I am swimming in Blood Echoes now because of the stuff I just collected. So we should be in good shape. I also... The one thing I didn't loot from... 
Castle Keenhurst is that there's this one pretty solid physical blood gem here. Adds plus 9.3% physical damage, but since I'm using Tonitrus, that's not going to be all that great anyway. It's mostly bolts, I think, at least when it's buffed. Alright, let's sell... Wait, what? Oh, son of a bitch. I just... Oh, wow. I've had a brain fart like that before. I'm pretty sure I just sold all my... <laughs> God damn it. I just sold all the, the consumable souls that would have given me way, way more. Like, I think I just basically threw 20,000 blood echoes in the trash. I think I might have just done that. Oh well, I can still sell this shit for a lot. But wow, that's disappointing. Because I just, I had two things that give 8,000 and I just sold them for like 1,000 each. Also, how's it going, Yankee? I just completely screwed up my money management and accidentally threw away 20,000 blood echoes. But, you know, it happens. What happens, happens. Farewell, good hunter. You were playing DS3 all this time. Hmm. Now, sorry I didn't notify you. I assumed you would have gone to bed or whatever. Um. God damn it. I can't believe I sold all of those. Ugh. That's so dumb. So dumb. I'm just gonna sell these so I can maybe Welcome level up again. Or actually, I should prioritize upgrading stuff. Okay, what do I get? Um, this could go to plus eight, I guess. I'm saving for plus nine on that one. Tonitris. Oh, perfect. Plus six. That's good. I like to see that. Also, let's go ahead and. Well, we don't need to repair anything. I guess I can just spend the rest of my blood echoes on something else. Like, more bullets! I never want to run out of those things. Isn't there a spell in this game that heals you? I kind of want to check that out. Oh yeah, I need more of these. Let's just buy a bunch of them. Um, I'm just going to buy blood vials. We've got all the blood bullets we'll need for now. How is spell build going? Pretty solid. I actually did one off stream before this a while ago, so it's technically not my first blood build, my first spell build, but well, if you stick around, you'll see the glory of what this build can do. Um, so I killed Witch of Hemwag, I killed all those people. Oh yeah, I forgot to sell the stupid Reader thing. Oh well, I'll sell it later. We'll figure this out. Right now, I just want to mess somebody up. I guess let's go to Nightmare Frontier. The depressing thing about Nightmare Frontier is it's basically just going to be grinding, trying to get a bolt gem. I should be able to get at least one bolt gem, but who knows? Right now, Yankee, we're just working on getting upgrade materials to get everything set up, but basically I got a flamethrower in my left hand, which looks like a watering can. How do you like that? It's like a steampunk watering can. And in my right hand, I got this badass weapon called the Tonitrus. Maybe my favorite weapon in the game thus far, just because... It's not, like, that crazy strong, but it just feels so satisfying to use. Oh shit, really? You guys... You guys, uh, frenzied me? Well, I guess I'm not frenzy forever. Okay, now, one of these guys drops bolt... bolt paper, which would be important on a physical build, but this is not a physical build, so I'm gonna go right by him if I can. Hi there, don't mind me. Let me just talk to Patches here. Oh, I'm so 
awkward pause. You know not the value you possess, but more's the pity. The hours of the night are many. Not even death offers solace. I'm, but I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonsil stone. Time to check out the executioner gloves. Huzzah! Are you kidding me? It dissipates after a certain distance, so it just barely wasn't close enough. Get over here, you. He's just gonna block it if I try to cast it at him, so not much point in wasting all the bullets. Elemental damage is good against these little scurrying beasts as well. Okay, we have our tonsil stone now. By the way, Yankee, uh, what were you up to in Dark Souls 3, just out of curiosity? More hex onyx blade shenanigans? Now, I'm not sure... I still don't fully understand the whole side quest with Patches here. His motivation is a little unclear on this part, but I guess he just wanted to bring you to the Nightmare Frontier so he could push you off a cliff for the 20th time in the series. Alright, I always forget where the stupid electric key is. Um, the lecture hall key. I know it's in one of these places to the left, but I can never remember which one. Oh, this isn't gonna open, is it? Oh no, it does. Okay, this is the right place. Good shit. Lecture theater key. Excellent. Uh, is there another exit somewhere? Finishing Pyro Bill, got to 110, getting spells, something, something. Did some duels with a scummy straight sword plus dagger and hornet ring, oh my. Well, at least you use the hornet ring, because you might actually be able to parry someone, unlike myself. Can't fucking parry to save my life in that game. Mostly because I, I actively avoided it when I saw how many people were just... Relying on it. Oh god, there's like a million guys in here. This is where the PS4 shits itself, because it gets so laggy in this room. When you have all these guys attacking you at once. Ow! That didn't reach, are you kidding me? I can't tell what's happening. Oh god. Don't stand in the goo. Did your mom ever tell you about the goo? Don't stand in it. Are we done here? Oh wow. Now this is good for farming quicksilver bullets. Holy shit. If you ever run out of quicksilver bullets, just fucking come here and wipe everything out. The, 
problem is it doesn't really matter if you run out of your total supply of Quicksilver bullets. The main danger is running out of your current, what you currently have on you. Okay, so now I can summon tentacles. Pretty cool. Um, this way, we're going this way. Also, how's my hammer doing? 74 out of 100. Close enough. It's time to meet the Nightmare Frontier Psychiatrist. Do 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 Frontier Psychiatrist. I have that song stuck in my head now. Oh, early 2000s. You had some weird shit. Now I should focus more on the flamethrower for killing these guys. Because they're weak to fire. Problem is, they might not drop what I want them to drop. Tempering, nope. I need a bolt blood gem for these guys. Get wrecked. Feels so satisfying. Huh. <laughs> Although it feels kind of dirty. Yeah, I don't know about parrying in that game. I know I'm biased against it, but... Okay. Just gonna make a little loop here to pick up a certain rune that I really like. It's the, uh, I don't remember if it's clockwise metamorphosis or anti-clockwise, but it's one of those. I think it's clockwise metamorphosis plus two, metamorphosis plus two or something like that. Please do not smash me. Oh god, that was close. Those rocks that these dudes hurl will simply one-shot you if they hit you right in the face, so I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just gonna run the fuck away. Ow! Please don't get. S oh, I'm dead. Rip. I was trying not to get hit by the rock so much that the beast simply murdered me. Well, don't want to lose 20,000 blood echoes, so. Let's just head back there. At least I can kill these guys a couple more times. For the chance of getting a bolt gem. Which will be very nice for my tonitress here. Yeah, flamethrower consumes bullets over time. You can see in the upper left. I don't want tempering, damn it. Tempering increases physical damage. I need about that shit. These stupid hunters, I guess I should try to kill them. They get really obnoxious. Alright, brother. Oh wow, they're pretty resistant to this weapon. How about this one? Yeah, hunters don't give a fuck. Ow! Oh man, now his friend is coming. Whoa, what's happening? Oh wow, I just realized I should probably not die so that I can get my 20,000. Since apparently those guys are like immune to fire. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. And try not to get wrecked by the beast this time. 
I guess I can just burn him. Whoa, not with the shoot sword. Not with the fucking awkward shit. Yikes. I just don't want to get smacked by one of those rocks. I have bad memories. Okay. So now I just collect some loot here. This is what I really came for right here. Clockwise Metamorphosis. And also, this is the place where Patches the Spider will push you down into the ravine because that's just the thing he likes to do in every single goddamn game. It's all a lot of silliness. Um, oh god. Hang on a second, I need to switch things up. Antidote. Old Hunter Bone, Old Hunter Bone, Old Hunter Bone, okay. I'm gonna use the old bunch of hunter bone here because it lets you roll through stuff real fast. It turns you into Alice from Madness Returns. Zoinks! Okay, now we have everyone's favorite enemy in the whole series. These goddamn brainiacs. Okay, she's way over there right now, so I guess I should risk it. Son of a bitch. He saw me. Which means I'm just gonna have to heal a bunch. I don't have any sedatives, right? No. Wait. What was the last thing? Uh, these two are identical, apparently? Okay, so it's just the upper clothes that matter in this instance. For frenzy resistance. Okay, let's just use Molotov cocktails for this person. Really? Why can't you target me? There we go. Perfect. I guess we can go kill the brain, but we gotta be real careful. Yeah, that thing's definitely gonna see me at this rate. Fuck it. YOLO. I just missed a whole bunch. And there's your frenzy. Cursed tempering. Oh, that's another physical one. That's garbage, man. It's nice. That would be pretty nice to get if I was on a pure physical build, but I'm not, so don't give a fuck. I don't remember what's down here. I guess more scurrying beasts? Whatever. Let's just focus... You have to actually pick up the stuff from Scurrying Beasts in these games, unlike... It's basically like the Dark Souls 2 Crystal Wizards, where you had to physically go where they were to pick up the stuff. Okay, is that guy still there? Looks like it. Get wrecked. Got chunks. Okay. Oh, hi there. Whoa! It's odd that these guys are so weak to fire, considering they use fire attacks. And there's what I'm looking for. That's exactly the blood gem I want. Fire attack... Wait, wait, no, that's fire! God damn it. I looked at it and for some reason thought it was bolt. I'm an idiot. Damn it. So I want exactly that except for Bolt instead of Fire. And I know they have a pretty decent chance of dropping that. I just haven't gotten lucky at all. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. 
get rid of all these. I'm just gonna see if I can't get the gem I want in a couple tries. I'm afraid you joined it kind of an uneventful part, Yankee, because I'm just trying to get materials right now, but you'll see the glory of the flamethrower if I ever make it to ROM on this character. The flamethrower really fucks people up. Its big downfall is that it doesn't stagger ever, unless it's like the Cleric Beast. It staggers the Cleric Beast for some reason, but most enemies it doesn't stagger. Whoa. Ah, oh, really? Another fire? That sucks. I'm grinding for bolt gems. It shouldn't take too many tries. Like, I just got two fire gems, and they're about the same rarity as what I'm looking for, so... Theoretically, it shouldn't take a lot of tries, but you know how that goes. It's always the worst RNG when you need it to not be. Let's see, can I like go down here on this side? Maybe that's more efficient. I don't really know. Nope. Amazing. I don't even think this blood gem will make that big of a difference. But it does improve your bolt damage somewhat, so... I wanted to get it, damn it. Let's see, how many chunks do I have again? Uh, that's enough for plus eight. Am I missing a chunk? Actually, now that I think about it. There's only one chunk that I can... Huh. Oh, right, I already have plus eight, so I need two more chunks, but I feel like I'm missing one. Where was the last chunk? Maybe there was one that I forgot to get in the uh, DLC or something. Huh. Still nothing. Typical. I'm gonna start stop farming pretty soon. I just wanted a couple chances at it. Ouch. Calm down, dude. Chill. Just wanna use up what bold hunters marks I have. we go. Finally. Oh wow, 7.3? I thought it would only be 6. That's actually slightly better than I expected, but whatever. 7.3 still isn't that much. Finally. Got what I wanted there, but I'm still a little lost on the chunk thing. Because I need more chunks than I have. I feel like I know I must have missed one somewhere, but I can't think of where. I just don't know. Anyway, let's apply the bolt gem. And whatever else we have. Bolt gem. Uh, don't really want weapon durability down. I guess we can just go to Castle Kanehurst and get the better one while I'm trying to figure out where the fuck 
what I missed with regard to chunks. Well, what? Very well. More arcane. Farewell. Now let's just buy some more hunter marks. Always need more hunter marks. Let me think. Oh, chunks, chunks. So there should have been six in the first DLC. Four Nightmare Frontier. And then one in Forbidden Woods and five in Kanehurst Castle. So I must have, I feel like I must have missed one either Kanehurst or the DLC. I really am not sure which. I, it seems more likely that I would miss it in Kanehurst. Because the DLC area, I don't know. The chunk locations are all pretty obvious there. Kanehurst, 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 where are you? Here we go. What did I miss then? I have a few ideas. Anyway, for the moment I just want to try and get this one blood gem, which is in a really awkward place, by the by. It's through here. Here we go. Ah. Damn it. Here I am trying to be all speedy. And I just get wrecked instantly. In fact, I wonder if I would have survived that if I didn't have the old hunter bone going. If I if the uh the roll had been delayed a little bit. It might have been the better timing in that one instance. Oh well. I got the blood gem. All it does is increase physical damage by 9.3%. Which will be, I don't know, okay for my weapon, I guess. Which mostly does bolt damage. Okay. No, get me out of here. Thank you. Okay, what else do we have to grab? Lots of different things. I wonder how much damage will be against these guys. Not great. What about this? Definitely not great. Ow, I hate these guys so much. They just like they hop up to you really, really quickly. Listen to this fucker. Okay, so where can I get a chunk? I know I picked the one up over there. Also, this is the wrong way. But whatever, there, there's a place in here that I might need to go to. Let's try here. Okay, that's just the dress, which is for selling. Then what did I miss? Maybe I did miss something in the DLC, but that just seems really unlikely. Somehow. Let me triple check this place. I'm pretty sure I got this one. Yeah, I totally did. So what the fuck, man? Oh, really? He just poises through that? Uh, Rip. Oh, I'm not dead yet.
I don't know. I'm just hoping one of these guys will drop something good. So what am I missing? There must... Oh, I know where it is now. Oh, shit. This guy's wrecking me. Really? How am I dying so much to these retarded things? I swear, I play this game better when I'm stoned than when I'm sober. Sometimes. I was freaking out there because I let my buff run out, so then I was just like strafing around. Okay, just give me a second to buff again. <laughs> he just ruined me. I literally could have probably just hit him and killed him there. Okay, I finally, by the way, I finally remembered which chunk I forgot to pick up. And it's like really stupid. It's a really simple, simple one to get. But now I gotta go get, get my stupid blood echoes. Alright, mister. Mr. Fancy Pants. Almost had another incident there. I ran out of stamina. Guess I should probably remember to put on the runes I actually have. Heh <laughs> heh. Whoops. The guy looks like Scarecrow and Batman. What? You mean the guy I was fighting? I can see it. He's got like a sack on his head. This guy's annoying because... Oh wow. Get one-shotted. Okay. So let's remember to get the chunk that I was here for ages ago, which is right here. There's actually a bunch of guys guarding it, so I gotta be careful. All right, cool. Finally, we have all the chunks that we're supposed to have. And now we can go do the Forbidden Woods, which we could have done hours ago, but I wanted to get that chunk. Everyone wants your death in this game. Yeah, that's, that's an accurate statement. Um, right, we need one more, but, um, just want to switch this to this. A little less damage, but I like it to not have the weapon durability down thing. Could just replace that one with weapon durability down. It's just this weapon already has durability problems big time, so I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. I can get better gems later anyway. Uh, is there anything else I can sell? I can sell the... This thingy. And... The student outfit. Not sure what I can do with Noble Dress other than put it on and look like a star. Well, very well. Let More Arcane! Uh, I'm just gonna pump Arcane all the way to 50 and then maybe start thinking about Endurance and Vit. Farewell. In the meantime, let's go put on our runes that we keep forgetting to do. Very nice. Forbidden Woods. Oh. See what time is it? Oh, I hate it that I do this because anytime I again, literally anytime I rotate my phone, I have to scroll way, way down in the chat to find the bottom. It's so dumb. Okay. We should be pretty OP by this point. Huzzah. Go ahead and do 
this for the extra bullets. 4 a.m. in France? Oh, yikes. Isn't that around the same time zone as Spain, actually? If Yankee's still here. Yankee GBs from Spain. I'm just going to run through this area best I can. This place is actually perfect for the flamethrower, but kind of the main danger is getting burned yourself. That's actually a real dick move, that area, because you see these monsters in the water and you're like, oh my god, those are terrifying. And your eyes are drawn to them. Meanwhile, these dudes throwing firebombs at you. For some reason, the firebombs, like, have a huge area of effect, and they insta-kill you when you're in the water there. Is it just oil that you're walking around in? Is that not water? Am I missing something? I don't know what the deal is with all that. It's, it's, it's no good. Ouch. weapon does not have the greatest rally. By rally I mean when you regenerate health after taking damage. Ow! No problem. Oh god. Don't get exploded. I don't think... Oh, nice. It almost seems like the damage ramps up as you keep doing it. More tempering gemstones, which I don't need. Alright, I'm gonna have to go all the way up this ladder, because the way this shortcut works, there's a door. Did I just say ladder? I meant elevator. Same diff. They both end with or, right? Please. Get the health back up. And then I'm actually going to equip the auger and executioner's gloves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't take me up too high. My main goal here is to acquire this one bloodstone chunk. I also want to acquire the other runes that I can use, one of which is clockwise and anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Whoa, dude! Looks like we're doing just dandy. Lots of twin shards around here. I don't know if I'm going to do a third weapon, but I guess I might as well once I get the equipment for it. I could theoretically do a pure arcane hunter's axe if I got a certain blood gem, but I'm not really bothering with that. Oh god. Wait a minute, I always get so lost here, it's ridiculous. Oh boy. Hi there. Wow. Now we got two guys. Oh, really? Oh. That was so fucking close, dude. Hang on a second here. There we go. So if I time that correctly... I'm just trying to learn how to like parry these guys with that. There we go. Hmm. 
you could parry people with the tentacles. Gotta go, thanks to the stream. Alright, Merle. Thanks again for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed the blood warnings. I shouldn't have to fight this guy. Just run away. Like a true Briton. Ah! Wait, wait, wait! Okay, we're good. Yikes. You gotta do serpentine... serpentine to avoid the serpents. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's see, where am I? Ow. Always get so turned around here. Yeah. That could have been awkward. Okay, so I have plenty of shards. I have enough chunks to upgrade my shit. This is where you unlock one of the shortcuts, I believe. Yes. I actually know my way around this woods pretty well at this point, but there's still some parts that are very messed up. Jeez, get one-shotted. Didn't actually expect that to one-shot him. I probably should have used blood bullets there. Oh well. Whatever. Um, let's try that for now. Just put a needle in each side. Weapon's really low on durability already. Okay, now these guys should get absolutely wrecked by Tonitris. Because they are kin enemies. And kin are weak to bolt. However, I've got to be careful about these guys' ranged attacks. Looks like we're doing just fine. Which arcane gem is this? Okay, it's a triangular, so I could theoretically use that. But I'm not going to for now. Got plenty of arcane damage from other stuff. Okay. And Arcane just doesn't seem like that great of a damage type in this game because the main enemy that's weak to Arcane is un Undead, which there aren't really that many undead monsters in this part of the game at least. You know what, let's just all one spawn. Get wrecked. gonna be another another pig in a second. And that's not even with a beast hunter gem. Okay. Now I gotta get the third and final rune. What if I just use Balthobs on this guy, if it would just wreck him? Whoa! Uh-oh. But there's no snakes on his head! I thought I needed to have snakes on his head for that to happen. Weird. I didn't know those guys could grab you without even transforming. That's funny. All right, let's get out of here. I could probably kill the boss right here now, but I'm gonna switch things up a bit first. <sighs> oh wow, I have to end the stream very soon. So anyone who still happens to be hanging out, thank you for joining. I'm probably gonna kill one more boss and then call it. Gotta upgrade that flamethrower. 
I could probably get a lot done with just an upgraded Tonitrus at this point. But I want to put a lot of resources into the flamethrower. Because it really does wreck some bosses. Okay. Fortify. Flame sprayer. Repair. Tonitrus. Um, blood gems should be fine. Oh. I already was forgetting it. Okay, so we have that. We're going to add this and this. So now we have boosted stamina and even more boosted health. The boosted stamina is going to be nice. <sighs> Use one of those. Welcome. Probably can only level up once Very from well. this. But that's enough. Twice, that works too. Farewell, good hunter. Farewell. It's going to feel a little odd using only a plus six tonitrus, but it should be fine. Oh, I didn't get any other blood vials. Whatever. Hopefully I won't get wrecked too hard by the Shadows of Yarnum. They're a little hard to use the flamethrower on because, again, it doesn't stagger things very easily, so they're probably just going to attack me through it, which will make things awkward to say the least. Which means I'll have to rely more on my Tonitrus, which isn't even upgraded fully. Let's see, so I opened that shortcut, but it's not really a very short cut. Unless I take, if I want to actually avoid fighting the pigs. So I'm actually going to take a slightly different route. Um, let's see, do I want to go down through here? Sure, why not? Why not? Oh, hi. Bye now. See you later. <laughs> think this is where I need to go. Somewhere in here. Uh, nope, it's not here. I was wrong. Where is it then? Here I am getting lost in the Forbidden Woods. No big surprise. Is it here? There's a place where you can just fall down. Ah, here we go. This is promising. Excellent. Oh my god, I really need to go to the bathroom. But I, I, I want to end the stream in a second. That's the worst feeling where I feel like I shouldn't take a break because I want to end the stream soon anyway. But then it's like, at the very end of the stream, I'm just holding it in. And it's like, bleh. Um, I guess I'll keep the auger handy. Oh shit, one more thing. I want bone marrow ash. Alright, here we go. This might be a little tricky. Damage looks pretty good. When I'm actually hitting people with it. Okay, looks like the Tana just does way more damage than me. Oh boy. Alright, nice. Now this guy's gonna start doing his thing. He didn't even get to summon his snakes. What a fool. 
All right, well, that was pretty damn easy. I guess I was a bit overleveled at that point. Okay, then. Um, Didn't use the flamethrower that much, but it, it got some bit use. This Tonic just really is a monster. Alrighty then. 